Okay, if you've watched my videos recently, you will know that I have been shopping at other supermarkets to see where is better value for money for me and my family and what we tend to buy each week. And so far, Sainsbury's is coming out on top all the time. And actually, Marks and Spencer's is a close second because at those two supermarkets, I don't get any waste with fruit and veg. It lasts all week. Whereas at little Aldi's and all those sort of places, it goes off really quickly. I did a Morrison's one the other week and I wasn't very overwhelmed. Like, I wasn't very impressed, should I say, with the value for money. Um, and I've just been to Lidl to grab a few bits. And again, I feel like I've spent just under £45 and I don't really feel like I've got that much for that money. So I think for me, I'm definitely going to be sticking with Sainsbury's. But I'm going to show you what I've got anyway. A loaf of bread and a tiger bread. Now, I know that shopping everywhere has got more expensive, but I just feel like I've spent a lot today. I don't feel like I've got as much to show for it as I would maybe elsewhere, but you can all give me an opinion and see what you think. People keep telling me to try Tesco with the club card, so I might do that, but there isn't one local. I need to drive about 20 minutes to find one. Um, this is like an imitation Vimto drink, so see what that's like. I did get this back lava, which is going to be a stocking filler for someone. Two packs of these instant noodles, my daughter loves them. A pack of um, rich tea and teas. I might find, to be fair, as I unpack this, I'm like, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Sometimes it's not until you actually see it out, you're like, yeah, it's all right. So we'll see. These are delicious. Um, these are pan of chocolate little rolls. Also, just to say, I've got loads of chicken and mints in my freezer already. So I didn't have to buy anything like that before, before any of you come and start saying it's not a healthy shop. This was just really a top-up shop, and I did get a couple of treats. This wine is only $2.99 there. Summer berries. So I'm going to see how that tastes, because I love the um, the other summer berries. And I've got a couple of these. These were 99 pence. We don't drink a lot, but occasionally we'll have a little drink at home. Spaghetti, this was like 29 p. Bag of pasta, that was 69. Uh, popcorn chicken. I did get a pack of fun sized bananas. Some pasties, because we like them as a little snack. Some roasted and spiced snack mix, different nuts, because we like to have little healthy nuts as a snack. I've got a tropical juice, it's really tasty from there. I got two lactose free milk. To be fair, they were really good. They were 99 pence. Um, some stuffed olives, because I love them. A pack of sausage rolls. A pack of chicken meat for sandwiches. Cookies. Chocolate biscuits. A big a double stuffed squash. Apple juice. Some hot dogs. Another one of those little pans. Some olive spread and red Leicester. So, yeah, see, I just still, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, how can that have been £45? It actually doesn't even make any sense to me. I need to find the receipt and check it because that just seems ludicrous to me. I am going to go through the receipt and check it, but yeah, I wouldn't be right. I won't be going to Lidl again in a hurry. I'm going to stick with Sainsbury's because normally in Sainsbury's I can get a trolley full of shopping, which is pretty much a full week shop for us, including meat and all the snacks that we need, juice, washing stuff for around 100 and to 110 pound. And I've just spent 45 and it looks like nothing. So I'm not, I'm not feeling Lidl. <laughs> where do you go shop and where do you find the bargains?